So just a quick update on the uh, nozzle video that I just did a little earlier. I might even upload them at the same time. <clears throat> that was a finish that I got. I just brought it outside into the into the sunlight, give you a better idea of the type of finish uh, it was giving off. That was in the uh, the dishwasher cabinet, uh, working as a as a siphon feeding nozzle. Um, but before I gave up on that and moved on to another project. Uh, I decided to put that nozzle into one of my other cabinets because um, it was still full of just glass beads. There was uh, there were no uh, aluminium oxide um, media in that cabinet, so I figured I'd quickly throw throw that nozzle in there and set it up as a as a siphon feeder to see what sort of finish I could get. And there we go. There. I can't see if that's focusing properly, but much better finish. So I think the big issue there in the dishwasher cabinet was that it uh, still had the aluminium oxide in there and the heavy beads and it just wasn't feeding up to the nozzle properly. So when I put it in the other cabinet and um, I'll take you over uh, how I set that up in a second, um, much better finish. So I haven't changed anything else on that nozzle. Uh, it's still set up the same way as it was in the other cabinet. Only real difference is the beads and the way that they're being agitated uh, by a much bigger pump. Um, but I'll take you over that setup there in a second. Much better finish. So um, that was before. You can kind of see it's a little dark in places. It's taken a lot longer. This one here, really quick. Uh, almost as good as a positive feed, uh, positive feed cabinet. Much better. It's got got rid of a lot of that black tarnish much quicker. Um, and it's got that nice shiny luster to it. So um, I'll probably continue on with the uh, um, the siphon feed nozzle setups in these cabinets. Just makes them a whole lot simpler and opens up the avenues on the type of pumps you can use and, um, and probably makes it a lot more accessible to people because they don't need to be quite as high volume and they don't need to be able to stand up to the uh, the, the media inside the slurry the same as they would in a positive pressure uh, cabinet. So um, if you give me a second I'll uh, take you back inside and I'll, and I'll show you how I set up this cabinet um, to achieve this result on the exact same plat. This is the cabinet I uh, set up to use a nozzle in. You can see same nozzle, uh, still siphon feeding out so that was just sort of dunked in there uh, switch on the side now comes on with a light that's agitating the slurry um, not the best setup that's why I stopped using this one I need to change it a little bit um, but seeing as it worked quite well with that setup there siphon feeding I might put this back in uh, into use and um, I'll, I'll add a, a wiper onto it so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. This one really needs it. Uh, put a stack on the side so I can breathe a bit better without spraying water everywhere. Uh, get rid of that filter that was just on there to stop it uh, spilling water everywhere. Uh, it still leaks a little bit, but it's, it's fine for testing. Uh, so I need to fix that siphon properly. Uh, it moves around with a slurry a lot and uh, comes out and can cause a bit of a, a sputter through the end of the, of the, the gun there. Um, but as I showed you that part, it does seem to work, so I'll probably continue to prototype using this one uh, rather than the dishwasher. The dishwasher works, nice and novel, but I've proven it, that it works and um, the video is already up so you can see how I did that. What I want to focus on now is um, probably expanding on the ways then that you can make these work. Uh, I want to focus a little bit on the siphon feeding. Um, I will do a pump video, but I'm going to change the, the layout of uh, how I'm going to do that. Um, having learned what I've learned today, I'll probably divide it into two separate videos. So I want to do a little bit more work um, on, on just how I'm going to set them up. Um, I've got a few more ideas that I want to try out before I do that video. So I might do a basic one uh, for anyone who wants to do a uh, positive pressure nozzle setup. Uh, similar to the ones I'm running in my other cabinets, uh, the more traditional style. Um, I'll do a video on those to give you something to get going with. 
um, for anyone who wants to try with the siphon setup uh, I'll continue on prototyping these and and just see what I can learn um, see what sort of pumps you can use and and we'll go from there and, and probably do a second video um, I'll probably upload this video with the one I did on the gun and the dishwasher cabinet just before I'll put them up on the same day um, and hopefully during this week I'll get a bit of time to finish doing the pump video and get that up before next weekend uh, we'll see how we go